Earth signs. Welcome. It is the love reading. Um, for um, the um, Aquarian, Geminis, or Libra for the month of March. Let's see what is coming up for you guys. Okay. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, life is full of surprises. Okay. So, um, there is a lot that is going on. You can feel the shift of energies that is coming in. So, um, be aware of that. So, okay. Um, let's check in and see what is going to be transpiring. First, remember these are collective readings. So, we do first the energy of the Aquarians, then the Gemini. Um, there is a, a stamp at the bottom of this video that will take you to whether you are Gemini, Libra, or Aquarians. Okay, so let's see what is coming up for you guys in a general. So it is four weeks, all right? So we see karma in the first weeks. We see some karma happening in the first week. So a lot of you are dealing with karmatic relationship. I see freedom in the second week. And this is wonderful because what is transpiring is that some of you are going to be freeing yourself from relationships. I see union. I see some of you could be getting married or some of you could be having issues with your um, marriage partner. And I see the energy of a dark man. Okay. Um, so you chocolate brown man, whatever the issue and the situation is in the fourth week, you are going to be having some issues and situation for you chocolate brown men. Okay. So let's go in and, um, see, um, the situation that is going to transpire. So, um, for you Aries, um, yeah. Um, so the general reading is that there is just going to be some karmas. Okay. There is definitely, definitely going to be some karmas. However, that is coming up. Karma is here. So a lot of you are going to be dealing with um, karmatic relationships. So, so this is the general because first I do the general, then I look at each individual signs. So, so in the general, there is karma, there is freedom. There is marriage issues with marriage. Some of you wants to be free from your relationships. And I'm seeing some issues with a chocolate brown man. So let's look and see what's coming up with karmas. How is karma? What's the issue with karma? So the issue with karma and uh, I forget that these cards are so, so um, thingy, but I'm going to be using this, um, glasses. Okay. So, um, the thing with karma is that some of you are dealing with a scorpion and a, and a, and a, and a Taurus. Some of you are dealing with some karmatic situation with a, a, a scorpion and a Taurus. However, this is happening. I see a transition that is going to be coming up. So there is definitely going to be transition coming up with people who are you air sign that is in a relationship with Pisces and Taurus. It is a karmatic relationship. And I see, um, this is going to be coming out for you guys. Okay. So, um, however that is transpiring, once you're in a relationship with a Pisces or a, um, Taurus, I see karmatic issues. So freedom. A lot of you who are in relationship, um, emotional freedom is coming up uh, for you guys. So if you're in a relationship with a Sagittarius or a Gemini, I see you're going to be emotional free. Okay. So if you are in a, a relationship with a Sagittarius or a Gemini, you are definitely going to be emotional free. And this is going to be good for you because this is going to be aligning you with positive energies. You're going to be freeing yourself from whatever structure or whatever feelings that you felt, uh, was um, like holding you back, especially if you were in a relationship with, and it's really positive because um, it's going to affect the Gemini. So I see um, you Geminis are going to be having um, some freedom. Okay. Marriage union. I see some of you could be getting involved. Um, 
with the Pisces the Taurus and the Gemini so I see marriage union um, you could be having issues in your marriage that depends on who you are what vibration you're working on if you're in relationship with Pisces Taurus and Gemini so Gemini's I see a lot of situation is coming up especially with marriage issue I see help syndrome um, and the energy of L, L syndrome what is coming up it has and it is affecting uh, you guys and you gotta be aware of the energies that is affecting you guys because uh, whenever the energy of health issues comes up uh, um, in marriages that means uh, some of you have to be healing your um, your your relationship your marriage relationship okay then I see with a chocolate brown men I see some of you chocolate bro so, um, um, men are going to be connecting or um, with the um, the uh, Capricorns uh, um, the Librans and the Aries I see you connecting with the Capricorn the Librans and the Aries so however that is coming up and taking place in your life I see that with these general energies a lot of you men are going to be having issues uh, with the Capricorn, um, the um, the Librans and the Aries, or oh, Capricorn, Librans and Aries. So, um, love is going to be affecting really the Gemini's, um, the Gemini's and the Librans, because the Gemini's and Librans are coming up uh, in relationships. But I see positive um, connection, especially with Jupiter and Mercury. Jupiter and Mercury is the um, Sagittarian and Mercury um, where we're dealing with the, the Gemini so remember in order to get the extended of these readings you have to really 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 um, connect in alignment with uh, um, the channel as you connect with the channel then and there you will um, see what is a transpiring for you guys okay so we're gonna break in it down because this is the general then you can um, check out where is Aquarius and Gemini I'll tell you when we're shifting um, channels so all right so for karma I see some of you um, are connecting um, with a Pisces and you could have uh, been going away on a relationship or you're in a relationship with a Pisces and um, it could be um, some of you are having issues karmatic whoever the scorpion is and the Taurus some of you are dealing with scorpion some of you are dealing with a Taurus and I see the situation where this person could be living overseas or in another city and it's a karmatic relationship whoever this person is and whatever is happening this person is living in another city or in another state and it's a karmatic situation that is at play so be aware of that freedom I see some of you want to reconciliate um, with someone the ex is coming back so some of you could be reconciliating with an Sagittarius or um, um, definitely a lot of you um, as Sagittarius could be coming back in your life and I see you this is the person because reconciliation is here is coming up for you guys and I see that um, some of you really want to reconciliate with someone from a past life it could be that this person has ended a relationship and this person is returning in your life and this person wants a new start with you okay when it comes to marriage get to know each other so some of you um, who are married um, if you're married to a Pisces a Taurus or um, um, you need to get to know these persons okay get to know the person that you're married in do not throw in the rug before you understand whoever it is that you are um, married to okay because some of you just want to give up on a marriage and they're saying to you do not give up on this marriage get to know the person more then um, the last energy that is coming up it is uh, especially it's going to affect the men keep an open mind okay your soulmate may differ from your usual types and expectation so men some of you men could be connecting with a Capricorn um, and 
or a Libran or a Taurus okay so um, I see this for men that you men um, you know it's as if you have never ever um, you have never ever dealt with um, that sort of a person before um, but I'm seeing a Capricorn um, um, a, a Libran and a, a, a Aries is coming up and it's as if you have never dated these people before you don't know what it's like and they're saying to keep uh, um, keep keep your mind open towards this so it's all about building on your relationship your marriage and that sort of a thing I see a lot of you are, 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 are in long-term relationship but they're very karma very karma um, very karmatic relationship that is happening um, for a lot of you out there so however that is transpiring I see um, you got to be aware of the karma that you're dealing with in these relationship and this is really really good so um, let's look at the individual sign so um, use the um, link of um, the time stamp below um, in order to find out what is going to be transpiring for your individual signs okay so first we're going to be looking at Aquarians what is coming out for the Aquarians first we're going to be um, looking for the Aquarians to see what is going to be affecting the Aquarians so so we see a lot of passion um, you Aquarians are going to be having a lot of passion a lot of passion is going to be coming up for you Aquarians um, and this passion some of you could be going out for long weekends connecting with someone and this person is a very karmatic so some of you Aquarians could be having passion with uh, um, Pisces and the Tauruses okay um, you could be going on long weekend um, to meet these people so be aware of this um, and uh, um, I see some of you need to have forgiveness forgiveness forgive um, forgiveness is coming up I see that some of you were in a passionate relationship and this relationship might end however this is coming up and transpiring I see some of you were really in a passionate relationship but this relationship might end so um, yeah there is going to be some hurtful feelings and I see forgiveness is uh, being asked for um, so you got to ask for forgiveness whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring you definitely have to ask for forgiveness so um, Aquarian um, this is really happening for you because what I'm seeing is that uh, um, some of you could be in a long-distance karmatic relationship it's coming up here some of you Aquarians are definitely in a long distance karmatic relationship and I see forgiveness is going to be the key because this person um, um, it is karma and it, it this person could be a Scorpio um, or a um, Taurus but you need to have forgiveness for this um, person because some of you was just in this relationship was just based on passion but I see um, it's good but forgiveness is coming up some of you need to forgive a Sagittarius and a cancer for something so um, you Aquarians whatever is happening between you and a Sagittarius and a cancer you need to forgive them for whatever you could have found out that they have cheated on you um, however this is transpired I see forgiveness is coming up for a uh, Sagittarius and a Cancer so as we look at freedom for you Aquarians I see some of you were in love triangles and you want some freedom I see some of you were in a love triangle and you want some um, freedom I see someone is returning in your life and this is going to be a Sagittarian um, is going to be returning in your life or a Gemini so um, Aquarians a Sagittarius or a Gemini is going to be returning in your life um, you could find out that they are in um, there's a third party in your relationship whoever and however you will find out that there's a third party in your relationship 
you're going to be finding out that there's a third party in your relationship so you got to be aware of this because what is going to be ha happening and transpiring is that uh, um you know you're going to be choosing aquarians whether or not you go forward but someone you have free yourself but yet still someone is coming to re um connect with you it's as if this relationship is going on and off on and off and it could be with a uh it could be with um a jupiter and 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 sagittarius and a gemini some of you could find out that as a, a sagittarius and a gemini uh, was in um a twin flame relationship so you gotta be aware of that now i see a lot of you aquarians are going to be freeing yourself from a love triangle or um some maybe you were aware of it maybe you were not aware of it and i see chemistry some of you aquarians are going to be having this strong chemistry with a cancer um a libran or a or another aquarians okay so you gotta be um on top but it's like a um a third party okay so you gotta be aware of this it's, it's as if it's a third party that you're dealing with with relationships so you gotta be aware but i see strong chem um, chemistry between you and um um very very strong chemistry between you and a cancer um you and a libran and you and a um aquarian so um be aware of what is happening okay all righty so aquarians in marriage what is transpiring for you and your marriage i see that some of you um want to um get out of your marriage um people who are in relationship with a pisces a taurus or a gemini i see you aquarians wants to get out of your marriage but it is as if is that the right reason um you need to get to know this person first okay um because these are people who were in past life whoever these people and situation is they were in past life they have um they were in past life and this is the reason why i see that some of you um, you know, you, you need to work on this relationship because it's a past life relationship or situation that is going on with marriage. So in the sense of marriage, I see that some of you who are in relationship with a Pisces, Taurus or a Gemini, you need to get to know this person first before you get out of this relationship. What I'm seeing is past life, um, past life, people from the past life is going to be coming in. And I see some of you calling up your soulmate. And these are people from past life that is going to be coming in. I see affirmation. A lot of you are calling up on your soulmate and your past life. A lot of you are calling up. And I see um, some of you are calling up on your past life. And um, these people are coming in, but they're coming in as Sagittarius and uh, um, uh Aries, Sagittarius and Aries. They're coming in as Sagittarius and Aries. So um, if you Aquarians are looking for your soulmate, you're going to be finding them um, with Sagittarius and Aries because that's where um, I see the Sagittarius and this Aries. So that's how it is working, Sagittarius and, and Aries. So however this is playing out, some of you who are calling up on your soulmate, your soulmate is going to be coming in as a Sagittarius or as an Aries okay um okay so let's move forward to the men now men I see you need to have a open mind I see some of you men are dealing with a Capricorn um, a Libra and an Aries so whatever is transpiring some of you men could be in relationships with these people or you men are looking for a relationship and you're meeting these people you need to keep a open mind um, to these people and whatever is happening because obviously um, the universe is sending these people in your life they are Capricorn Librans and uh, um, and and Aries and I see you need to keep an open mind to these people because some of you some of you could be having some threesome with these people you got to be aware because they are going to be finding out there is a lot of deceptiveness on the your part men 
so I see you men are really having and it has to do with um, a Sagittarius and a Virgo a Sagittarius and a Virgo there's some deceptiveness um, on your part and it has to do with a Sagittarius and a Virgo I see a lot of gossip is taking place so um, if you're in a relationship be careful because there is a lot of gossip there's a lot of gossip that is taking place and it has to do with a Sagittarius and a Virgo there is a lot of gossip some deceptiveness at play a lot of gossip and it has to do with a Sagittarius and a Virgo okay it has to do with a Sagittarius and a Virgo so you got to be aware of what is happening and what is said um, transpiring because there's deceptiveness with a Sagittarius and a Virgo these people are very very deceptive and there is a whole lot of gossip that is going on so be aware Wow so um, Aquarius in order um, to know how this is going to be turning out for you Aquarius you got to use um, the link you got to um, use the link in order to find out uh, how this is um, going to be playing out all right so have a good month use the link to get to your extended the extended are all online all righty welcome um, uh, um, Gemini let's see what is coming out I see you Gemini men between the ages um, business entrepreneur um, stay optimistic about your um, your relationship positive thinking and have faith with your romance okay so I see this is going to be ha happening to young entrepreneur young people young um, people in business um, some of you could be in karmatic relationship because that is showing up um, karmatic relationship some of you um, could um, be dating someone of a distance and is in karmatic relationship so this is coming up for you Gemini so you gotta be aware because some of you are definitely dealing with some karmatic relationship with an Aquarius and uh, um, a Taurus okay so whatever is transpiring a lot of you are in a karmatic relationship that has to do with an Aquarius and a um, Taurus so be aware of this some of you could be meeting these people or some of you have already um, met these people um, some of you could be going away on a long weekend with a, um, a scorpion some of you could be going on away on a long weekend with a scorpion however that is transpiring a scorpion and a Taurus but I see um, you Gemini's are um, and, and, and twine with um, the Aquarian and the Taurus okay I see you're looking for a new start um, and if you're in a relationship with an Aquarian and a Taurus I see your optimism and you're looking for a new start because whatever is transpiring this relationship is a very karmatic relationship whatever is transpiring it's an extremely extremely karmatic relationship so you got to be on top of your game and um, a lot of you Gemini's are going through karmatic relationship um, with um, the scorpion and uh, um, the Tauruses the scorpion and the Tauruses seems um, to be um, these people who you're having karmatic relationships with and this is coming up some of you need to stay optimistic and then choose to jump in another relationship you need to stay optimistic and um, choose not to jump in another relationship all right I see some of you are going to be freeing yourself from a relationship um, however that is transparent and that is happening I see definitely that some of you are going to be freeing yourself from a relationship and I see new love is coming in um, this person is an Aries and a cancer for some of you so um, some of you are definitely communicating with this new love that is coming in it's a new person I stir your romantic feeling and I see this new person is coming in and it says for some of you it's an Aries and for some of you is a cancer so however this is playing out because what I'm seeing here what I'm, I'm realizing is that some of you are freeing yourself from a cancer and you're connecting with another um, with a with another Gemini or another um, um, Sagittarian 
but however this is happening and this is playing out i see text message communication love that is happening and i see a new energy and a new situation that is transpiring where um you are going to be meeting someone new and they could be coming up as aries or as cancer some of you could be uh, beware of the cancers because you're gemini's uh, the aries is good the cancers are not good sagittarius is coming in for you gemini's uh, and also other gemini's some of you could be connecting with other gemini's and it's going to be very very positive that's the new love that is coming in then as we look at marriages i see some of you young ladies who are married uh, who are already married i see you need to have a heart to heart conversation all right um some of you young ladies between um the ages of 18 and 45 that is married you need to have a heart to heart conversation with your partner okay honesty um honesty discuss your feeling with others okay and some of you are married to an aries or some of you are married to a cancer you young ladies um, um need to discuss um and have a heart to heart conversation with your partner because there is some deceptiveness that is going on and um some of you whatever is transpiring in um marriage relationship and that sort of a thing it is um there is really some deceptiveness that is at play and especially for young people who are married you need to communicate with each other so gemini um if you want to know um who is it going to affect it's going to affect the people who are married to aries or cancers um people who are married to aries and cancer um the, there has to be a heart to heart discussion because there is some um situation that is influencing your marriage and there needs to be some heart to heart discussion um for you guys okay so that is um what came up for marriages um and um some of you you know get to know your um your partner before you make a leap because some of you want to get married some of you who are married maybe it's deciding to leave a marriage but you need to get you to know your partner before twin flames are here and attractiveness and twin flames so this is good for you gemini's um these are two positive energies um twin flame and attraction so you gemini's are attracted romantically and um you're enjoying yourself so it could be you uh, men um there is someone new in your life some of you are attracted um to new people that is coming in your life and this could be that you're attracted to a leo or a cancer you're attracted to a leo or a cancer however this is coming up i see um a lot of you um gemini's are going to be very much attracted to a leo or a cancer this person is coming in as a twin flame okay so you gemini um could be um meeting or attracted to a, a cancer or a gemini um the cancer is not a twin flame the 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 the, the um, leo is the twin flame but not the cancer okay so i see a lot of attraction um a lot of attraction is coming in and you men could be attracted to the capricorn and the liberance and the aries capricorn liberance and aries so i see a lot of attraction and these people you're attracted to they are your soulmate so it is a leo capricorn um a libran and a aries okay so that is where the sense of attraction is coming up for you guys so it is beautiful um there is no question about it um gemini's it's really beautiful it's, it's going to be a really beautiful month for you gemini's um a twin flame and attraction coming up at the same time this is powerful what it is saying for you gemini is that the new things is about to start in your life um extended readings or use the link join the channel it's just a dollar 99 and every month you get your extended monthly readings and your extended love readings just a dollar 99 you receive all these extended it is good to know what is going on in love and it's good to know what is going on in general in your life and just join the channel it's just a dollar 99 per month nothing else nothing in there 
$1.99 per month. As you join the channel, you will ex um, receive all these extended reading. It looks really good. I see some of you are trying to release yourself of the cancers. However, that is transpiring. I see you Geminis are going to be okay because it's as if you realize that some people need to be re released out of your life uh, in order to bring in new people. You men are really attracted to the Capricorns, uh, the Librans, and the Aries in this month. So enjoy. Alrighty. Um, use the link and check out your extended. We're moving on to the Librans. Librans, I see beautiful queen is coming up for the Librans. So this is looking good, Librans. And I see engagement. So some of you young ladies could be getting engaged if you were waiting on the ring. Um, if you were waiting on the ring um, and you didn't receive it, I see that you are going to be receiving an offer. Some of you are definitely going to be engaged. You are going to be receiving an offer, okay? Then I have uh, um, people who you could get engaged to. You you Librans could be getting engaged to other Librans or a Gemini or a Virgo or Gemini, okay? So this is wonderful and this is positive because what is happening and transpiring is that you young ladies, all of a sudden, you are going to be received the ants in marriage. And this is going to be good because some of you have been dating, dating, dating a lot of frogs and all of a sudden your prince is going to be coming in. And this is a wonderful time because I think some of you were really, really looking um, for this to come in. So um, the people who are you're going to be reconnecting with, these are karma clearing people. So some of you could be getting engaged um, to a Libran or a Virgo, okay? And this is going to be just so fantastic, okay? Then what do we have? We have dating queens. So I see dating queens, codependency. Some of you are just dating um, to meet people so they can help you out financially. Um, I see a lot of you are um, really dating because you're free. It's as if some of you just got divorced, you're free. So you're dating, you're trying to figure out how it's working. I see um, you Librans are going to be meeting a Cancer, yin and yin, okay? So I see a lot of you are dating, but you're going to be meeting um, Cancers. Now, what is transpiring with this Libran? Because it is freedom and reconciliation. So some of you could be reconciliating with these people, okay? So these people are really coming up as a past life. Um, they're coming up as a, you, it's as if some of you have freed yourself from a relationship. And I see these people could be reconciliating with you. And it, they're coming in via you dating other people. So however this is happening and transpire, I see that via you dating other people, I'm seeing this is going to be coming up for you guys. And the situation that is transpiring and happening, that is, um, you know, you're, you're, you're basically on the dating scene because um, some of you have gotten free from relationships. And I see you're back on the dating scene. Some of you are definitely going to be um, meeting up with other Librans or other Cancer people, okay? And this is good. I see Chu Gem is coming in, and uh, um, Chu Gem is coming in, and this is your soulmate. Whoever this person is, there is a new person that is coming in. This person is a Chu Gem, and they are your soulmate. So um, it could be that they're there, or you're marrying to this person, or you are married to this person, because it's coming up for marriage people. So I see... Um, some of you really realize that your partner is really a true gem and you're wondering if is this my soulmate? Yes, it is your soulmate. So if you're married or someone already asked you the ends of marriage and um, you're realizing now that this person is really, really um, um, a twin flame or a soulmate. So what I'm seeing coming up here is that some of you could be connected to a scorpion. Some of you are connected uh, to a Taurus and some of you are going to be connected. Um, um, these are new, um, relationships that is coming up. Scorpion, Taurus, and, um, Sagittarius. Scorpion, um, Taurus and Sagittarius. Yes. Yeah, Scorpion, Taurus, and Sagittarius. 
and some of you are going to be realizing that these are your twin flame or these are true love that is coming in so these are people where you are going to be meeting in this month and you librans in order to know um how which people and how it's going to affect your life and what extra is happening um join the channel it's a dollar 99 you will pick up your extended reading like every month for a dollar 99 extended monthly readings and extended love readings so what is happening and transpiring is that we see true gem is coming up and with the energy of true gem what is happening and what is transpiring is that i see that some of you um a sagittarius that is uh, um the um a soulmate um and uh, um the rest is um true love okay but the sagittarius is going to be your soulmate if you meet the sagittarius it's going to be your soulmate and the um scorpion and the taurus is just a true love that is coming in for you so absolutely fabulous however it is transparent some of you could have been or it's coming up these people could be asking you to marry because i've seen these people um being long term standing up in your life long term in your life um these people are definitely the love of your life and these people are the people that is going to be standing by you for a very long time and it's going to be the love of your life so i see you meeting um really um beautiful people people who are going to be standing up and supporting you i see you meeting soulmates and this is definitely going to be good all right so a really wonderful energies because whenever true love and soulmate comes up the soulmate is going to be the sagittarians that is going to be coming in the soulmate forms and um some of you librans um you could be uh some of you Librans are definitely going to be meeting a Pisces or a Taurus and they're going to be true love, but they are not soulmates or twin flame. They're just going to be true love. I see some of you are going to be getting a gift. This could be the one. Some of you unexpectedly is going to be meeting someone and it says if the universe send this person in your life, like, um, relationship wise if you were looking for a relationship or if you were in an awkward relationship or if you were in a relationship that someone was not being very honest i see the universe is going to be bringing this in your life and this is going to be really powerful because what is going to be transpiring is basically what the universe is saying is that um i'm bringing this person open up your eyes to different people in different situation and unexpectedly someone is going to be falling in your lap and falling in your life and you're going to be just so realizing how beautiful this person is and it's going to be an aquarian and another libran so it's, and and whoever these people is an aquarian and another libran is just going to be up 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 in your life and these people were sent in your life as a gift okay these people came in your life because they want to you to realize that your priors for stability because they're going to be bringing stability in your world and your prize for stability the gifts okay this could be the one yes it could be the one and the gifts of how and what is transpire and what has happened is that all of a sudden um the universe decided oh my god this person has gone through so much okay they have gone through so much in their lives and i see the universe is definitely going to be opening up and bringing these positive energies in your life and it's, it's going to be absolutely beautiful because um it's as if some of you were going through this unrealistic relationship these relationship that you were thinking really i can't believe um um the stupidity of people and then all of a sudden you're going to be realizing um that all of a sudden it's as if you cross part with these people um you could meet these people um through work through through, through whatever um recreation time that you have and these aquarians and um and and another libran is going to come in your life and it's as if the universe placed these people in your life so it's going to be an aquarius and a libra that is just going to 
um, magically appear in your life and they are going to be bringing um, like this powerful alignment of energy where they're going to be you're going to be feeling very attracted to these people but um, it's as if these people come it's like this unexpected gift is that you were praying to meet someone and this person is going to be finally coming in your life and you're going to be so alive and ready to meet this person this is going to be good so however it is happening however it is transpiring it is definitely going to be absolutely beautiful this month in order to know what exactly is coming out you can um use and join for a dollar 99 and that is for a month you receive all the monthly readings all the extended love readings and monthly readings um and i'm saying to you guys please share these videos remember you have to use a time stamp underneath the videos to see your individual um energy um love energy for this month and then use the, the link join in order to get your extended to receive more information over love in this month i want to say namaste until next time